extremely hot and there's not very little shade. I've just a towel and I'm drinking a lot of water. These tourists aren't alone in suffering from the extreme heat in Athens. Cooling the Greek capital and saving water has become a top priority, especially given that this part of Europe is one of the fastest warming places on Earth. One idea to address this is to tap into the city's ancient Roman aqueduct. That should exploit an unused water resource to create more green spaces. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's so cramped. Built nearly 2,000 years ago, Hadrian's aqueduct flows into the heart of Athens. Most of the ancient structure, like this part in the municipality of Halandri, lies underground. Christophs is showing me inside. Oh, it's cooler down here. Oh, okay, here we are, wow. So this was the main reservoir that yeah. was used to filter the water and clean the water. Where does the water come from? The water, the Adrian Aqueduct hasn't got an obvious spring where it carry, to carry the water to somewhere else. It soaks the water from the ground along its route. And this is important because the more you use the water, then the water returns. You enrich the water resource that we use. And why is this project important in the larger context? The Adrian Aqueduct, because it's still functioning, it still carries water that now goes wasted in the sea. When the new non-potable water pipelines start uh, working, we're going to be saving 80,000 cubic meters per year. Athens is one of Europe's hottest and most densely built cities. In summer, there's a marked heat island effect. The extra water will help to irrigate green spaces like this and bring down temperatures. At the aqueduct's central reservoir, Yorgos tells me the project is also seeking to encourage a change in people's habits, so less water is wasted. Oh wow, it's huge. The ultimate goal of the project is to create a culture in Athens. We want more green spaces and less waste of potable water for non-potable uses. Uh, and this project is just the beginning of a long strategy for that. A strategy that's already spreading its reach. There are plans to expand in the other uh, boroughs of Athens that the Adrian Aqueduct uh, runs. But also we have started a collaboration with uh, another five, six cities in Europe that combine cultural heritage with uh, water heritage in order to make more green, sustainable and livable cities. That's it for this episode. See you soon for more Water Matters.